Hey everyone, this is Certified High Performance Coach Michelle Weimer here with you today. Thank you for joining me for Wednesday Wisdom. Um, and uh, wow, I am excited about today's topic because um, I see this um, question come up about persistence versus perseverance. And so that's what we're talking about today, whether to persist at something or to persevere. Now, you might be thinking, what is the difference? Is there even a difference? So that's what I'm going to explain to you today. And we're going to talk about how, um, you know, not that one is bad and one is good, but how sometimes one can be better than the other. So um, let me just go ahead and explain it like this. So um, Einstein, you know, says the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So when you think about persisting, it's doing something over and over. It's like sticking with some, but something and persisting and doing it over and over again. And so again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. In many respects, being persistent is important. If you want to create good, healthy habits, you have to be persistent and consistent with doing that thing over and over again. But here's where it's not always such a good thing. Um, I always give the analogy to my clients. I love this analogy. Uh, if you keep putting the same ingredients into the cake mix, you're going to keep getting the same cake. If you want a different cake, you've got to put in different ingredients. And so persisting at something, doing something over and over and over again, and hoping that you're going to get a different result can be maddening, right? Like again, the definition of insanity, it's maddening and it doesn't always work. And unfortunately what happens is sometimes we try to, we, we stay persistent at something, not because it's what we really want. I mean, sometimes we don't even want the cake we're baking, right? <laughs> but because it's comfortable, because it becomes comfortable, it becomes routine. And so we just keep sticking with it. Think, think of it like this, um, you know, people sometimes persist and they stick with difficult relationships, to toxic relationships, not because it's really what they want and they know that nothing is going to change because they keep doing the same thing over and over again in these toxic in this toxic relationship. The pattern doesn't change and they keep thinking maybe it will, but it doesn't and they stay with it. And the reason why, that's that comfort piece. And so you have to really, really careful when it comes to being persistent with something and sticking with something when it's not really what you want and it's not moving you forward at all. Um, think about it. Another example would be in a, in a job, you know, how many people, and maybe some of you watching can attest to this. Maybe you go to a job every day, day in and day out, and you persist, you, you keep pushing on, but you would hate that job. You hate doing what you're doing and you don't ever change it. You don't ever persevere and try to go to another level. You just keep persisting, going to that same job every day, over and over, going through the motions, doing the same thing. So the caution with being persistent is sometimes it doesn't always serve you, especially if, again, you're putting the same ingredients in every day, day in and day out, you're getting that same cake and it's not even the cake that you want. So you've got to change it. So this is where perseverance comes in. And this is why I think perseverance is often a better choice when it comes to a character trait to have for yourself in really achieving higher levels, really um, moving yourself forward and reaching your goals. Persevering is, is about finding those sticking points, those struggles, those uh, difficulties, and moving through them, really pushing past them finding ways to change versus doing that same thing over and over again, finding ways to change so that you can persevere and move through and move on. Um, another, you know, think again back to, for, for example, that, that job that you hate, right? Instead of just sticking with it, persisting, going in day after day after day, hoping it's going to get better, doing the same thing over and over again, and, and being persistent with it, instead persevere through and just like, okay, what are my problems? What are the struggles here? Why do I feel like I have to be stuck here? What can I do to change that? And then starting to work on those things that you can do to move through it, to persevere past the struggles, to persevere past 
the roadblocks or the things, the challenges that are maybe keeping you from moving yourself towards a desired goal. If you, uh, you know, again, with the job scenario, if you're hating the job that you're in, why would you keep going to it every day? Why not persevere into finding a way to move out of that job? Maybe it means you have to decide, okay, I have to go back to school and take some courses and um, train, you know, get a different license or certification or something else that I want to do. Maybe I have to find out what it would take to start my own business and I have to push myself into, you know, really doing the work to go there. I have to persevere into another level in my life and that's where the change really happens. That's where you start putting different ingredients into that cake that you want and that's where you really get into having, uh, you know, success in reaching the goals that you want to reach. So, to persist or to persevere, check yourself and see when this comes up, if you're feeling stuck and you're doing the same thing over and over, stop persisting, stop doing that over and over again. Start looking for ways you can persevere. Start looking for ways that you can move through the challenges or the struggles and into really creating what it is you want. Um, and I'll leave you with one last scenario here or one last example of this. If you're someone who works out um, and you feel like, you know, oh, so, so you're doing the same workout routine over and over again. Like, you know, if you are a runner, for example, and you're doing the same you know, routine over and over again, you're going to hit a plateau. You're not going to advance and go to that next level when you're doing the same workout every single day. So in order for your muscles to learn that they can move and change and grow to another level to get out of that comfort zone, you have to do something different. And that's where persevering and pushing yourself past where you currently are that has become comfortable to your body and routine, that's where the growth really starts to happen. So um, look for ways that you are sticking with something and being persistent with it, but it's not really serving you and challenge yourself to persevere into um, overcoming the struggle or the fear or the, the challenge that you feel like is keeping you from moving to that next level. Sorry, dogs are barking. Uh, that's what happens when you're on live. Anyway, I would love to hear from you. Like, Think about when in your life you have been persistent but it hasn't always served you and how you could persevere to a new level. Um, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to help you with it. Feel free to send me an email, a message, post here. Um, whatever the case and for those of you who are watching thank you so much for being here with me today for watching I'm here every Wednesday for a little Wednesday wisdom and uh, I'm excited to share with you something that I have in store for you next week so be sure you're here and uh, again thank you for joining me this is certified high performance coach Michelle Weimer keep persevering that's how we reach our goals bye for now